Yeah, certainly uh, proud of the guys and the way we performed tonight. Uh, took care of the puck. That was a goal that we talked about, uh, well, even a month ago, that we cannot keep turning the puck over. So the guys did a great job. I haven't looked at any stats at all, but I thought it was a pretty even game up and down the ice. I thought face-offs about even shots on that attempt. So you got to give Harvard credit. They're an excellent hockey team, and Vessi's for real. I, I don't know if there's anyone in our league that's better. He's a dominant player. Yeah, I saw uh, Avery driving the net, or driving the puck wide there, and uh, I had a deep defenseman on me, and I decided to just go straight to the net. Uh, Avery put a good shot on, and it uh, stuck on the goalie's pad for a little bit there. I'm not sure if he knew where it was, and kind of took a whack at it. I was screened out a little bit by their defenseman, but I guess it trickled right through the goal line there, and yeah, it put us ahead early there, which is good, good key for us tonight. I mean, if there's one guy I don't want that puck to land on his stick, it's probably 19. Um, you know, that kid, just as Coach Blaze said, he's he's quite a player. Uh, you know, I don't think we've played a guy this year that can control the game like he did. Um, he was really patient. I thought I was going to have a chance of diving over and grabbing it, but uh, he he waited, kind of waited me out to dive. And put it uh, put it through my arms, but uh, he made a great play at a pivotal point of the game. Um, but uh, you know our guys kind of buckled down after that, and uh, he had one chance uh, late in the game with a with a real quick release. I was just fortunate enough to get my hand down on it, um, and then our guys cleared out the trash in front. So uh, you know couldn't be more happy with uh, the team effort tonight. It's it's a great feeling, but at the same time, you know, it's not satisfying. Uh, it's not what we came here to do. You know, yeah, we came here to win that first game to to get us to an opportunity to compete in the Frozen Four in Boston. But uh, you know, we're we still have a full 60 minutes uh, tomorrow night against a good hockey club that beat the number one overall seed. So um, for us, it's uh, pretty short enjoyment. Um, you know, it's it's nice reaching a milestone as a as an organization, but uh, you know, our work's far from over. Being a freshman, we're, I was fortunate to get here this year and. For the older guys, we want to really uh, make sure that we go all the way here for them. Um, they've worked hard for four years, and I think it's important as the underclassmen now that we uh, keep this going and uh, put our focus to our IT tomorrow and get ready for a full 60 minutes. Uh, I just really think, uh, you know, I, in, in all honesty, having 14, Dominic Zombo back in the lineup uh, after being out for almost two months, uh, you know, it killed the kid every day watching practice, uh, watching those games in that uh, stretch where we kind of struggled in the tail end of the regular season. And uh, to have that kid in the lineup tonight in whatever capacity, you know, he was there tonight. Uh, you know, he did a full job. Um, you know, may not have been on our starting line, but, uh, you know, he, he did his job and, you know, led, led the team, kept the, uh, kept the youth uh, uh, focused and, and dialed in for the full game. So um, having him back uh, is going to be huge. Uh, for us to be focused for you know a really a really strong RIT program, um, you know they didn't beat Minnesota Mankato for for no reason. So um, we just got to make sure that we keep ourselves as a collective group focused and uh, ready to go for tomorrow. That 60 minutes was great and it feels good, but uh, we've been turning the page well all year, and that's from Friday to Saturday night. Um, even if we get a big win on Friday, you know you got to come back the next day and, and be ready to perform. Um, I think this group has done a great job of that. Uh, regardless of the fact that we have, you know, a lot of underclassmen, I think they understand the the magnitude of the situation. And um, kind of like Gal said, they've just been uh, they've been great, um, putting in the effort every day for the upperclassmen trying to extend the season. They may have been, you know, lower ranked than Mankato, but this time of year, you know, it doesn't matter if you're number one in the nation or you know, 58 in the nation. Um, you know, they they got a bid in this tournament uh, uh, for a reason. You know, they're one of the top 16 teams in the country. Um, so for us to even begin to think that uh, we're a favorite or begin to think that uh, we should win tomorrow, I think would be our biggest mistake. Um, we need to treat them just as we've treated, you know, the top top tier programs that we've played all year. Um, so, you know, they put themselves in a position to succeed and uh, so did we. So tomorrow night it's going to be about who executes better uh, for a full 60. This time of year any, anything can happen. So. It's more for us, our game plan, putting a full 60 minutes in, making sure that we do the right things, the little things. And tonight we did a pretty good job at that. So we have to even get better tomorrow night if we want to get to Boston. We'll talk a little bit about what RIT does well between now and tomorrow night. But um, we just got to show up with our game. You know what? Um, RIT is a great team, and they deserve to be here as much as anybody else. So at this point, like Ryan said, for us to look towards that game and think we're a favorite, uh, I think that would be a huge mistake. We're just going to go out there and play our game and, and work hard. 
Yeah, he's been going back and forth uh, with uh, playing defense and playing forward and uh, have him up there on the power play, not because um, the other guys weren't doing the job, because he's a big body and uh, it covers a lot of the uh, the offensive zone in front of the net. And he just happened to, like he described it pretty good, he saw the puck and drove to the net. A lot of guys won't get there, and at least Grant will get to the front of the net, and he was, uh, you know, rewarded for that. I thought the first 10 minutes uh, set the tone of the game, whether we scored or not. I thought, you know, later on, uh, Harvard played desperate, knowing that their season could be uh, uh, done. And they, uh, I thought they held the, the better of the play. But I thought the first 10 minutes, we were in control and, and took real good uh, care of the puck and uh, carried the play to them. Well, I think uh, RIT uh, obviously has the uh, advantage for the rest but you know we're used to playing back to back Friday Saturday in this case it'll be Saturday Sunday so uh, we haven't decided if we'll go out and skate tomorrow or not or just have a stretch uh, the guys will go back and and get a meal and prepare just like we would any other uh, weekend so it's it's more than any other weekend though I think we have to approach this game tomorrow we'll, we won't do a whole lot of video we just have to play our game and make sure we're mentally ready physically we are you know I, I think we're physically ready just Getting, uh, you know, we we thought if we were fortunate enough to um, beat Harvard, that we'd be going against uh, Minnesota State Mankato just because they're the number one seed, and we played them early in the year. But RIT beat them uh, fair and square, and they're a good hockey team. Yeah, it's everything. At North Dakota, we expect to win championships, and and these guys, you know, with with being so many uh, young players, freshmen and sophomores mainly, uh, it's hard to win championships. I think you see the the teams that win those are usually uh, upperclassmen. You know, they might have you know 15, 16 fre uh, sophomores and juniors, but it means a lot for this program to get. Uh, their first win out of the three times they've been in the uh, NCAA tournament. So it's just another milestone that we're going to have to have to uh, keep, you know, working towards. Well, just out in the hallway here, he said, if you get to Boston, look me up, <laughs> you know, well, you'll uh, take care of us. But uh, yeah, t uh, Ted, uh, we haven't really talked uh, for a lot over the, the years since uh, 92 Olympics, but uh, certainly he's done a great job at Harvard there uh, being head coach and Obviously, an alumni who's played there, um, he's going to have a, a, a tremendous future ahead of him in coaching. He's going to coach for a long time.